Wildcat fans, and welcome to the first edition of Wildcat Tradition 2022. It is with great pleasure and an honor to bring back such a tradition that's a part of the rich history of Battlestar Wildcat football. We would also like to thank our audiovisual students and Mazzani Matthews, our teacher, for bringing back such a part of this rich tradition. And today, we have a very special guest. We have none other than our head football coach, Coach Shelton Felton. Coach, how you doing today? Doing good, Coach. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, you're two years now into Valdosta Wildcat football. How does it feel? Oh, it's great, man. It's a lot of tradition. Um, it's a lot of Wildcat fans, and I look forward to many more years with the Wildcats, but I'm enjoying every minute of it. All right. Good deal. Well, Coach, uh, we often <laughs> run into a new season, and, of course, you started out this year with – Preseason game against Thomasville, we Wildcats, of course, fared well. And then you moved into the first game of the season against North Miami Patriots. So uh, we won 40-6. to six. Uh, What can you tell us about that game? Well, I mean, we played physical and fast. That's our motto. Um, we played physical and fast. I thought we came out early on offense. Uh, Todd Robinson, our sophomore quarterback, had his first start. He played really well, um, led the offense and directed traffic a lot. And on defense, we played real physical. Um, gave up a couple plays, not many. But I thought we played lights out on defense. And as an overall, on special team, we played really good, blocked the punt. So overall, I think we played pretty good as a team. All right. Well, the old saying goes is defense win championships and offense sell the tickets. There's been a lot of buzz about our Wildcat defense this year. What, what can you tell us? And who are some of the players that stand out in your mind? Well, we're a young defense um, overall, but I think you're correct. Defense win championship, and not hate my hat on playing great defense, but we're led by our defensive line. Uh, Eric Brantley Jr., Amari White, uh, then T.J. Morris, the big guy in the middle. Those guys have a great job, and uh, we're young in the secondary, but we're playing very fast and physical. Um, Omar is playing good up front. You got Amari Tomlin playing good at linebacker, and our secondary led by Tim Robeson and Charlie Porter. Those guys are playing really good football right now for the first week. All right. They're certainly playing lights out. Uh, haven't given up many points in preseason scrimmage and, of course, the first game. Uh, you know, there's a lot of buzz about who's going to be the quarterback this year. <laughs> How much can you tell us about the young man and his growth at, at this point? Right now, our quarterback one, we call him QB1, is Todd Robinson. Excuse me. Um, Todd is a sophomore. Um, got his first start um, at quarterback this past week. And what he got scrimmage. Uh, his, his growth is really good. Um, from day one, he's getting better and better. Uh, his skill set is really high, but the biggest thing is playing the position and being the pressure, being the quarterback for Dallas Wildcats is a big toll for the young man, but he, keep, he gets better weekly and weekly. He's growing, and uh, his future is very bright. Coach, it seems like uh, we noticed a lot of guys rotating in the running back. Look like you have a lot of depth in that position. What can you tell us about that group? Oh, man, that's... that's that's one group on this team that's very interesting. Uh, but those guys play together. Uh, we're led by Charles. He's a senior. Um, Rotator Mark Denson's another senior. Shaq Shaquille Wright is a junior. Um, Gatlin's a junior. I mean, we have a slew of running backs, not a bunch of big backs, but a bunch of small backs that do great at different things. And we're going to play all of them and pray f we're going to keep them fresh because one thing about us going to do, we're going to run the football. Absolutely. Well, I, I, I noticed uh, – you know, there's been a buzz about the length of our receivers and, and uh, noticed those guys made some good catches the uh, past two games. Uh, what can you tell us about that group? Uh, that group, man, it's an it's a interesting group. Uh, it's a bunch of seniors uh, are in the classroom but not seen on the field, not having played a lot. But we're led by Jalen Whitehead. He's our slash guy. Uh, he plays tight end and receiver. Long length, he can run, good hands. He's the leader of that group. Uh, right behind him is uh, Taran Smalls, another big-time receiver. That gets the ball, he gets it, he can physically run, and Mark McCall, who takes the top off. And uh, we have a bunch of guys that 
we can play in that group. It's a group family. So we just need them to play in, like old school football one-on-one, -on -one, catch the ball and get open. Absolutely. Uh, well, you can't talk about offense without talking about the big guys up front. What can you tell us about those guys? Well, those guys, man, like very proud of them because we lost uh, the whole offensive line. A lot of those guys went to play in college football. Uh, Smoke Dennis, returning starter. He, he leads that line. We moved to the tackle. He plays right tackle. We have um, Burgess is another good young one. Um, Alexander, who's playing center, is another pretty good young Booker. Those guys, we got a senior guy in Jason that plays tackle. We have another 10th grader in uh, Burroughs that's playing in that. Without that, guys are very young and a nucleus that can be really good in the future. Just got to get more rest and more playing time, but they're really young. They're much as juniors and sophomores. Absolutely. All right, Coach, uh, <laughs> just, just can you tell the Wildcat fans out here, uh, seems to be a lot of kids out uh, this year and, and last year, uh, what kind of numbers do you have this year in the program? Right now, it's good. I mean, you know, thanks to things that you guys are doing, providing for us to have the numbers. Um, right now, from 10 to 12, we have 126 kids. Um, we have 47 ninth graders. So we got almost over 200 kids in the program, right at about 180. It's great. It's moving. And every day, somebody wants to play football. But we don't cap it right now because, you know, the off season. But the numbers are good. The excitement playing Valley football is back. And we just want to keep it going, the tradition of playing here. Well, Coach, uh, last week uh, leading up to uh, the first game, uh, you did something that, that's certainly part of Wildcat tradition, but you did it a little differently. You brought out a bunch of folks uh, for the striping and pawing of the helmets. Well, how, how excited were you about that? I mean, it's very exciting. I mean, as a head coach, we all want to leave our legacy, our landmark on the program. And my thing, what could I leave my mark with about Austin High School? And, and what we decided to do is just invite the men the former players, the parents in to be a part of this great tradition of scrapping the, the helmet and putting the paws on because once you do that, you know it's time to play Wildcat football. And I think the turnout was great and look forward to next year. And this is something that you want to keep continuing so we can teach the young men about the history of Wildcat football because this generation, they don't, they, they don't Google it, they don't see it. <laughs> so we're trying to get the people to come in and teach them what is Wildcat football? Why they won national championship? Why they won state championship? It's a history and a, and a certain way for the walk as a Wildcat. Absolutely. Take pride in here, right here. Wildcat. Well, coach, we know uh, in this business, it's a production business, but you can't do this by yourself. What can you tell us about your coaching staff? I have a great coaching staff. It's a mixture, a bunch of young guys. Um, First time offensive coordinator, Coach Nick Harville, does a great job. He works hard. He's been in a great system his whole career. But the biggest thing about Nick, he, he, he gets the kids to buy into him. He's very energetic. The kids love him. Uh, our O-line coach is, I think, one of the best in the state. If he can pat anybody, we call him Coach G. Coach Gallon does a great job. He's a leader. Those guys love him. I was interior other offensive line coaches, Coach uh, Luke. He also does a good job. Those guys work good together on O-line. Our receiver coach is about Jay Rome. He's a legend here himself. Played here, played at the University of Georgia. The kids love him. Um, Jeff Golden, who we brought in from Florida, coaches the outside receivers. He played the position at a high level and gets them going. Um, we call him Coach Moore. We call him Coach Swole. Um, he also is a Wildcat through and through. He coaches the running back, and he can relate to those guys. I think that nucleus is very good. On the defensive side, they've got good experience. Our defense coordinator is Coach Tracy Buckhannon. He has several years of college football. He won the state championship in 7 8 football in this region. Um, we was at the other school. I will never call names on our show. But uh, he's very experienced, um, very well rounded. Uh, our defensive line coach, Coach McCurdy, is also our strength and conditioning coach. Does a great job. Uh, he built me since my Chris kind of days. And, He's a guy who knows the expectation, what I'm looking for. I was secondary, uh, another bad off the legend, Coach John Josh Norwood. Um, he coached him like he played. Uh, he's very passionate. He loves the game. When I say he loves the Wildcats, and you know, I don't say no other, but it's hard. He loves them, and he, and he puts that tradition in those guys. And we got Coach Locker. We got him from the University of West Kentucky. He does a great yard, young coach in the secondary with the safety. Uh, we got Coach Phillip Brown, who was a defensive coordinator last year. He coaches our outside backers, does a great job. I think this nucleus is very experienced, and we have a, a bunch of good ninth-grade coaches around us helping 
um, is doing the real good. So I really like this coaching staff. And the best thing about it, we work together as a unit and we, we feed off each other. So I think this is a really good staff. Well, I think I can speak for the entire community that we're certainly excited about Wildcat football. Um, we're going to shift gears here and, and talk about this week opponent. We got a group coming from down the street as we speak, <laughs> uh, the Cook County Hornets. And, of course, uh, they're led by Coach Byron Slack, and they won their first game last mm -hmm. week, 55-7, to in, in what I call the Hornet Bowl. They played the Pelham Hornets. Uh, and Coach Slight certainly is no stranger to this area. Uh, mm -hmm. He's been at <clears throat> Hillgrove as a head coach. Uh, he's coached a little bit at Coffin County and yeah. uh, DC'd at Lowndes, of course. And then he also spent some, some time uh, some other places, yeah, so Camden, yeah. Camden County. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, uh, what can you tell us about the Cook County Hornets coming in here? Well, like I said, Coach Slack's a good coach. Um, got much respect for him. Uh, this time we went against each other. He's He's a defensive-minded guy. Um, those guys are going to be disciplined, they're going to play hard and play fast. Um, just looking at them, they're multiple offense, do a lot of good things on offense, a big screen team. Um, they're led by a sophomore quarterback, uh, good running game. I think the O-line is pretty nice side gentlemen. So I think the thing they're doing on offense is going to be pretty good for them and give us a test of things of alignment. On defense, they are all up front. Uh, they're a man-heavy team. They do like to blitz a lot, which, you know, we got to be ready for. I think. On special teams, they're solid. I think it's going to be a really good team coming in. It's going to be a test for us. And and anything about it, you know, we're, we're so close. Eight of them, but I'm so close apart. So I look together a good crowd, and I expect to be a good game. All right. Well, what could, if you had to pinpoint some keys for the Wildcats on offense Friday night and some keys on defense, uh, what would be some of those keys for us to be successful? It's going to start up front on offense. You've got to be able to block them. you got to be able to move them and protect the quarterback. Like anything else, Todd has to get in the rhythm. If our quarterback can get in the rhythm, lead our offense, I think we'll be okay uh, with anybody we play. We just got to and throw and catch. If we do those things, we'll be okay defensively. We got to keep everything in front of us. Can't let them deep ball down, as the kid would say. Can't follow no trick plays, and our front going to be aggressive. Um, if you play right off the defense, we're going to be aggressive. No matter who you are, we're going to be aggressive. If we can dominate the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball, I like our odds on Friday night. The biggest thing, create turnovers and don't, make, and don't give up turnovers. All right, Wildcat fans, there you have it from our own Coach Shelton Felton, the keys of the game. We're excited about Wildcat football. We look forward to seeing you this Friday night, 8 o'clock p.m. in the historic Baysmore Howder Stadium. You can go online and buy your tickets at gofan.co, or you can live stream the game through the National Federation of High School. And always important, we would like to say, go Cats. Go Cats.